Hello, everybody. I am Pastor Shirley Caesar Williams. I'm the senior pastor of the Mount Calvary Word of Faith Church that's located 3100 Sandiford Road, Raleigh, North Carolina. And guess what? You are watching Gospel Awakening. This is Gospel Awakening, a viewer-supported television show filled with motivating inspiration. Now, enjoy the show. Good morning. 
everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Gospel Awakening Television. I'm Terrence. And I'm Deborah. Good morning, Terrence. How are you doing this morning, my wonderful sister? I am. I feel great. We have a great show today. Oh, man, this is awesome. And of course, we have a great audience this morning that's watching us that got up at eight o'clock to watch this show. We are blessed. <laughs> to watch the one and only Queen of Gospel Pastor Shirley, what devil? Caesar Williams <laughs> out of Raleigh, North Carolina. It is an honor to have her on our show on this morning. You know, she's not the easiest lady to get up with. Hello. We had to pin her down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but she agreed. She said, yeah, come on, come on. You know, we met her at church and all that. And so we just, we're so thankful to have her with us on this morning. So I know you, you're trying to tell me coffee time, right? I always so, do. Okay. Okay. So listen, y'all, thank you so much. I know many of you, y'all have ordered your coffee mugs. We are so happy about that and that you do have your coffee with us. Come on. All right. So let's go ahead and take a sip and we'll talk a little more about Pastor Shirley Caesar. Okay. A sip and not a slurp. Hello. You remember that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we do want to say thanks to all of you all for having coffee with us every Sunday morning. I love it when we hear you say, I watch Gospel Awakening every Sunday morning. It means a lot. And we, we still need for all of the rest of you to order these cups so we can have this coffee time together every Sunday morning. And with Pastor Shirley Caesar on the day, everybody. <laughs> Yes, yes. Y'all, listen, you're talking about a woman who has Stella Awards, Dove Awards, Grammy Awards. And what's the main thing to with that star? Hollywood Walk of Fame. Are you, you, are, you, are you testing me to see if I can remember? You testing me, aren't you? Or, or did you forget how to say it yourself? Did you tell the truth? Don't lie. I did not forget. Okay. But that's, I mean, we're so, so honored to have her this morning. Listen, you, and you're going to enjoy the interview. We're going to a commercial. Call your friend, though. Tell them, go ahead and get up. They haven't missed everything. The interview is coming up. So tell them to get on up and then don't miss the interview and get that coffee. All right. We're going to a commercial break, everybody. We'll be right back. Deborah, don't test me no more. Don't do that. That's not nice. Okay. Y'all, we'll be right back. He's having a moment. We'll be right back. Now you can enjoy your coffee with Gospel Awakening with an original Gospel Awakening coffee cup. These souvenirs are autographed with the original signatures of the television host. Also, visit Gospel Awakening's online store and check out our other memorabilia to add to your Gospel Awakening collection. This is just another way you can help keep Gospel Television on the air for years to come. Thanks for your support. I am Ben Boris Peterkin of VB Peterkin Funeral Home. And caring for families is something we do. VB Peterkin Funeral Home. Families choose us because we take the time to get to know them and help decide the most appropriate arrangements for their loved ones. Your personal touch is what matters most, offering a wide range of services from life insurance to affordable cremations. VB Peterkin Funeral Home will make sure your final moment is just how you want it to be. Pressures of life seem to weigh you down, and you don't know which way to turn. God is concerned 
and he's working it out. Bill. The child that's on cocaine through prayer he'll change. Yes. Oh, that marriage that's on the verge of breaking up. Although sometimes you have. You might have to walk all alone Now, now, you might ask yourself Is there a word from the Lord, from the Lord? You need a blessing, yes, you do Hey, you saw her face in the very beginning. That's right. She is with us, and we are right here in her office this morning. I mean, the queen of gospel music is with us, and she's so humble. But listen, put your hands together. Pastor Shirley Caesar Williams is with us. Yay! Good morning. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. It is an honor. And thank you for taking the time to just um, be a part of Gospel Awakening on this morning. <laughs> I'm privileged. I'm like this family. <laughs> it seems like I should have been maybe your mama's oldest daughter or something. <laughs> now, but, uh, we, well, now we do our ancestry, you know, we can kind of check that a little bit that's more. Right. You that's right. We know. might be some Kenyan, you know. Oh, I know that. I know that. However, you all are a little tall, all of us. Uh, <laughs> Well, my mama's short. She's short. Oh, okay. That's then good. <laughs> then that 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 kind of grafts me into the family. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But I want you to know that we love you, Thank Mother you. Shirley. I call you Mother. I call you Mother Shirley. You correct me the other day. Call me Ma. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said, call. You call me. Oh, Ma. You said, call me Ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I said, call me Mama Shirley. There we Shirley. go. That's there right. we go. Mama she Shirley. Know what she said? <laughs> okay. Tell me what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Shirley, yes, but that's an honor. But listen, thank you so much. We want to talk about, I mean, you are the queen of gospel. You are labeled really? as that. <laughs> you, said you, you, probably didn't, you probably didn't start out trying to be that, but you are that to this very day. We love your music. You've been out here a long time. Yeah. And I love listening to your story when you talk about how you even got started as a little girl. Um, growing up in a family, a large family of 13 kids. 12. My mother's second born died a crib death. Okay. We Whoa. never knew her. We never knew her. But it you was... know, as 
as the older one, the ones of my siblings um, grew older, mm -hmm. then they would help to raise us, yeah. the younger ones. And so uh, they are all asleep now, and I'm still here. To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. I want to ask this. Now, you are a very influential <laughs> person, and mm -hmm. But I'm sure over the years there has been has there been any who have influenced you as you have come along oh, through the yes. years? So many, many, many. Really, now I don't know whether or not you would believe this or not, but Mahalia Jackson mm. um, really uh, influenced my life. I can go back to Sister Rosetta Tharp. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yeah, I just look good. I, I've been here a long time. <laughs> and you do look good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But um, uh, when I was with the caravans, Mahalia came to the concert. She came to one of our concerts, and I lost it. I just ran and I just jumped up on that lady. Because, you know, because she was a, a big lady. Gotcha. And... Uh, Albertina and the group members got after me. She said, "Cause you acted fifi-ish. <laughs> she called it fifi -ish. What is that? <laughs> um, fifi -ish is being overactive <laughs> or something like that, you know. I'm young, so I don't know all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, no, no. no comment. <laughs> no comment. No. no comment. Your father was a pastor. No, but he was a powerful singer. He was a quartet singer. Quartet singer. And um, I have brothers who also sang in quartets. Mm -hmm. But uh, my dad, years ago, I don't even remember this, but they had um, a, a quartet wars, or whatever you want to call it, competition. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he would win all of them. And my dad could jump this high off the floor. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. He was he was just like well I I was like him. I was because, I remember you used to jump up like that too now back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love to watch you pastor back years ago when I said, look at her go. <laughs> I mean now I can still dance. <laughs> but I'm I'm not jumping off yeah. stages anymore. I don't yeah. do all of that yeah. stuff. Uh, hey, listen. <laughs> I can I can be just as effective without jumping off stage. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you something. I am uh, I'm just so honored uh, to be a part of this, and I want to thank you all for allowing me, in my little humble way, mm -hmm. to be a part of this. Okay. <laughs> thank yes, you. I'm I'm very serious about this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now, the pastor here at this the church where you pastor here. Mm -hmm. What, what are your, where are you, where are you located and what are your service times? Oh, well, of course, you know where we are because you're here. Yeah, I'm glad, you know. I, I mean, they know but, now, right? Um, <laughs> we're located, well, it's the Mount Calvary Word of Faith Church. We're located 3100 Sandiford Road in Raleigh, North Carolina Church, where everybody is somebody with the doors swing on welcome hinges. And no stranger feels strange. Mm. What time did you say you open I services? Didn't. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> but right now I will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is just this is better, the best Thank interview you. we've ever had. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, well, you know, before COVID, we were like at 11 a.m. I'm so mm -hmm. glad. I'm so glad now that we're at 12 mm -hmm. because it gives me time. You know, whenever I'm flying in from a concert mm -hmm. uh, to get to church in good time. Right. So now we start at 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And plus the fact, you know, I was telling you that I have a service on uh, uh, Facebook. I yeah. see it. I see it. And YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is anointed. It is anointed. Shoot, I need you all to come. Uh, if you all could see this setup, you wouldn't believe it. Now you're talking about pros. Huh? <laughs> I'm sitting in high, tall grass. Wow! These young people know what they're doing. Whoa! Come in, and you do the queen. Thank, Thank you, queen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We I'm enjoy. Just, I'm just surely. We enjoy what we do. I want to say to all of y'all, everyone watching Gospel Awakening, we thank you. We appreciate you as we have enjoyed the Queen of Gospel here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Come see her at 12 o'clock. 12 noon. Yeah. 12 noon on Sunday mornings. Sunday afternoon when afternoon. the hands 
appointed toward heaven. <laughs> oh 12 noon, right here. Our pastor is the apostle Aaron McNair, India preacher's preacher. Oh, all right. God bless. Thank you all. God bless, God bless you. Love you. <laughs> I am Ben Boris Peterkin of V.B. Peterkin Funeral Home. And caring for families is something we do. V.B. Peterkin Funeral Home. Families choose us because we take the time to get to know them and help decide the most appropriate arrangements for their loved ones. Your personal touch is what matters most, offering a wide range of services from life insurance to affordable cremations. V.B. Peterkin Funeral Home will make sure your final moment is just how you want it to be. Having trouble caring for mom or dad? Home Loving Care is here to help. We provide in-home care assistance throughout the Triad area. Our experienced in-home aides and highly trained certified CNAs specialize in veteran care, Alzheimer's care, and around-the-clock companion care. We even provide short-term or long-term sitter companion care in assisted living facilities and hospitals. Home Loving Care, providing the care you need with the love you want. Call today for a free no-obligation assessment. New Hope Church of God in Christ invites you to connect with a ministry that's moving forward using our gifts and talents to impact the needs of our community. Pastor Kenneth and First Lady Jackie Hill are honored to serve you. Now you can enjoy your coffee with Gospel Awakening with an original Gospel Awakening coffee cup. These souvenirs are autographed with the original signatures of the television hosts. Also, visit Gospel Awakenings online store and check out our other memorabilia to add to your Gospel Awakening collection. This is just another way you can help keep Gospel Television on the air for years to come. Thanks for your support. Gospel Awakening is honored to recognize Sean Austin of Durham for being a part of our coffee time. Your contributions will help keep Gospel Entertainment on the air for years to come. Now, let us feature you. Just go to our website, purchase your coffee mug or any other merch to show your support. When you receive your product, take a selfie, text, or email it to this information on the screen. Coffee time with Gospel Awakening is what we wake up for. Oh, awesome show, Terrence. Awesome show. Love every men of this show today. Woo -woo. I know you all did too. Pastor Shirley C., this is awesome. Listen, thank y'all so much. We can't thank y'all enough. We are who we are because of you. Thank you for supporting us. Um, you're ordering these mugs and you're joining us with Coffee Time. People are coming to me, um, letting me know that they're watching and they're supporting us. I get text messages, all of that. So I do. So thank y'all so, so much. We've come to the end of another great show, but oh, Terrence. Now, we didn't show them the other part of that song where you and Pastor Caesar were singing together. Uh-uh. No. We ain't get ready to show that either. No, we're not doing that. Wait, no, no uh, we show everything else. And I always, mm -mm. uh-uh. That right there, oh, uh, uh, we were not in the show. Listen, listen, y'all. This you have got to see. Forget it, Terrence. Um, roll the camera. Uh, roll the camera. The Lord fixed it so I could still eat beans, green potatoes, <laughs> tomatoes, ham, ram, hog, oh, dog, come on. turkey, you name it. You name it. Woo! And I, I couldn't want, get it. I always want to do that. Let me do that. You yeah. name it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's good. That's good because I couldn't get up there. No. I should have. I should have just waited, you know, at the end of my little rap or whatever you want to call that, and just said, <laughs> <laughs> you, "You name it." <laughs> <laughs> that's your brother. No, look, I don't, I don't. don't edge me on, okay? Okay. <laughs> don't please, edge me on. Please don't let that go any further. <laughs> Oh. He's talking about me. Oh, wait a minute. What was all of this right here? You know, you want, want to show me so bad saying, you know what I mean? and then you doing all of that. <laughs> what you call that, Deborah? Getting into the groove, baby. It was fun, everybody. And we want to say thank you. As we close this show, 
I want to remind you all that we're able to do this because of your support. You see all the ways you can continue supporting Gospel Awakening. Many of you are still saying, I'm going to buy a mug one day. I'm going to get a t-shirt one day. I'm going to... Please know that every one thing you do that supports this show keeps us on the air another Sunday. Go ahead and do it. Now we're at the place where we are. We need you now to continue carrying us the rest of the way. Uh, to all of you all again, thank you for liking us, subscribing, following us, uh, all the different ways you can support us with the social media. And we're looking forward to taking this show as far as you will support it. Thank you again. We love it, y'all. We have, you think this show was great. Wait till you see all the other ones that's coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we got to go till next Sunday. Thank you again, Pastor Shirley Caesar. And we will see everybody again next Sunday. Yes. We love y'all. Thank you. See you next week. You name it. Collard greens and beans and. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> My sister's little boy came into the kitchen one evening while she was fixing supper. And he handed a piece of paper he had been writing on. And after she wiped her hands on her apron, she took the letter in her hands and she read it. And this is what it said. From mowing the yard, five dollars. And for making up my own bed this week, one dollar. For going to the store, 50 cents. For playing with little brother mama while you went out shopping, 25 cents. <laughs> the trash one dollar for having a good report card five dollars for raking the yard two dollars total owed to me mama you owe me exactly fourteen dollars and seventy five cents well she She looked at her little boy standing there with his hand open, waiting no money. And a Gospel Awakening members. is supported by viewers like you. We I hope you enjoyed this program. You know and until did, next so time, God bless she you. She picked up the pen and she turned the letter over. This is what she wrote. Outside.